Christian Eichmann Dutch, N. I. came, the 11th of August 1858 to the 5th of November 1930 was a Dutch physician and professor of physiology whose demonstration that beriberi is caused by poor diet led to the discovery of antineuritic vitamins thiamine. Together with Sir Frederick Hopkins, he received the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1929 for the discovery of vitamins. Biography <inaudible> 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 Early life and education Christian Eichmann was born on the 11th of August 1858, at Niekerk, Netherlands as the seventh child of Christian Eichmann, the headmaster of a local school, and Johanna Alita Poel. His elder brother Johann Frederick Eichmann 1851 was also a chemist. A year later, in 1859, the Eichmann family moved to Zondam, where his father was appointed head of a newly founded school for advanced elementary education. It was here that Christian and his brothers received their early education. In 1875, after taking his preliminary examinations, Eichmann became a student at the Military Medical School of the University of Amsterdam, where he was trained as a medical officer for the Netherlands Indies Army, passing through all his examinations with honours. From 1879 to 1881, he was an assistant of T. Place, professor of physiology, during which time he wrote his thesis on polarization of the nerves, which gained him his doctoral degree, with honors, on 13 July 1883. <laughs> 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 Career In 1883, Eichmann left the Netherlands for the Indies, where he was made medical officer of health, first in Semarang, then later at Jalatjap, a small village on the south coast of Java, and at Padang Sidampoyan in western Sumatra. It was at Jalatjap that he caught malaria, which later so impaired his health that he, in 1885, had to return to Europe on sick leave. For Eichmann this was to prove a lucky event, as it enabled him to work in E. Forster's laboratory in Amsterdam, and also in Robert Koch's bacteriological laboratory in Berlin. Here he came into contact with C. A. Peckelhering and C. Winkler, who were visiting the German capital before their departure to the Indies. In this way medical officer Christian Eichmann was seconded as assistant to the Peckelhering winkler mission, together with his colleague M. B. Romany. This mission had been sent out by the Dutch government to conduct investigations into beriberi, a disease which at that time was causing havoc in that region. In 1887, Peckelhering and Winkler were recalled, but before their departure Peckelhering proposed to the Governor-General that the laboratory which had been temporarily set up for the commission in the military hospital in Batavia should be made permanent. This proposal was readily accepted, and Christian Eichmann was appointed its first director, at the same time being made director of the Dr. Jawa School, Javanese Medical School, which later became University of Indonesia. Thus ended Eichmann's short military career. Now he was able to devote himself entirely to science. Eichmann was director of the Jeniskundig Laboratorium, medical laboratory, from the 15th of January 1888 to the 4th of March 1896, and during that time he made a number of his most important researches. These dealt first of all with the physiology of people living in tropical regions. He was able to demonstrate that a number of theories had no factual basis. Firstly he proved that in the blood of Europeans living in the tropics the number of red corpuscles, the specific gravity, the serum, and the water content, undergo no change, at least when the blood is not affected by disease which will ultimately lead to anemia. Comparing the metabolism of the European with that of the native, he found that in the tropics as well in the temperate zone, this is entirely governed by the work carried out. Neither could he find any disparity in respiratory metabolism, perspiration, and temperature regulation. Thus Eichmann put an end to a number of speculations on the acclimatization of Europeans in the tropics which had hitherto necessitated the taking of various precautions. Topic. Greatest work. Eichmann had been sent to the Dutch East Indies to study beriberi, a disease of the peripheral nerves, but his discovery of the cause was accidental. He noticed the symptoms of beriberi in some chickens used in his laboratory when their feed had been altered for a few months. During that time, chickens in the laboratory had been fed leftover rice from military rations, until a new cook refused to allow military rice to be fed to civilian animals. Rice was then purchased from another source, and the birds soon recovered. 
During the months that the chickens developed beriberi, the feed had been polished rice, and when the bird's diet was switched back to unpolished rice, the birds recovered in a few days. Eichmann surmised that polished rice lacked a dietary component found in unpolished rice, and that beriberi was caused by depriving the body of this component, which he called the anti-beriberi factor. Subsequently, Eichmann was able to prove that the disease was not caused by blood contamination, respiratory metabolism, perspiration, or seasonal or temperature variation. He suspected the disease was caused by an unknown bacteria. Eichmann was unable to continue his research due to ill health, but a study by his friend Adolf Vorderman confirmed the link between polished rice and the disease. Eventually it was determined the missing compound that was causing beriberi was vitamin B1, thiamine. Chemist Casimir Funk shortened the term, vital amine, to coin a new word, vitamin. For his contributions to the discovery of antineuritic vitamins, Eichmann won the 1929 Nobel Prize for Medicine, sharing the prize with Sir Frederick Hopkins. Funk, perhaps unfairly, was never given full credit for his work. In addition to his work on beriberi, he occupied himself with other problems such as Iraq fermentation, and indeed still had time to write two textbooks for his students at the Java Medical School, one on physiology and the other on organic chemistry. Topic. Later life and death In 1898 he became successor to G. van Overbeek de Meyer, as professor in hygiene and forensic medicine at Utrecht. His inaugural speech was entitled Over Giesendide and Ziekten in Tropisch Gewässen on health and diseases in tropical regions. At Utrecht, Eichmann turned to the study of bacteriology, and carried out his well-known fermentation test, by means of which it can be readily established if water has been polluted by human and animal defecation containing coli bacilli. Another research was into the rate of mortality of bacteria as a result of various external factors, whereby he was able to show that this process could not be represented by a logarithmic curve. This was followed by his investigation of the phenomenon that the rate of growth of bacteria on solid substratum often decreases, finally coming to a halt. Beirink's oxanographic method was applied on several occasions by Eichmann, as for example during the secretion of enzymes which break down casein or bring about hemolysis, whereby he could demonstrate the hydrolysis of fats under the influence of lipases. Eichmann did not confine himself to the university. He also engaged himself in problems of water supply, housing, school hygiene, physical education. As a member of the Gesundheitsrat Health Council and the Gesundheitskommissie Health Commission, he participated in the struggle against alcoholism and tuberculosis. He was the founder of the Vereinigung tot Bestreiting van de Tuberculose Society for the Struggle Against Tuberculosis. He died in Utrecht, on 5 November 1930, after a protracted illness. Topic. Awards in 1907, Eichmann was appointed member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences, after having been correspondent since 1895. The Dutch government conferred upon him several orders of knighthood, whereas on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of his professorship a fund was established to enable the awarding of the Eichmann Medal. But the crown of all his work was the award of the Nobel Prize in 1929. Eichmann was holder of the John Scott Medal, Philadelphia, and foreign associate of the National Academy of Sciences in Washington. He was also honorary fellow of the Royal Sanitary Institute in London. To honor his dedication, the Government of Indonesia named his research center on pathology and bacteriology the Eichmann Institute for Molecular Biology. Topic. Personal life In 1883, before his departure to the Indies, Eichmann married Alt J. Widgeri van Adema, who died in 1886. In Batavia, Professor Eichmann married Bertha Julie Louise van der Kemp in 1888. A son, Peter Hendrik, who became a physician, was born in 1890. See also Eichmann test Topic. References Lodwijk Palm, Christian Eichmann 1858–1930 in, K. van Berkel, A. van Helden and L. Palm ed., A History of Science in the Netherlands. Survey, Themes and Reference Leiden, Brill, 1999 447–449. 
NobelPrize.org, Christian Eichmann, Nobel laureate Topic. External links Eichmann Institute for Molecular Biology Biography at the Wayback Machine archived the 19th of June 2003 Eichmann Nobel Lecture Christian Eichmann Biography Museum Borhov Negan Nederlands and Nobel Prijswinars AM Luyendiek Elshout, Eichmann, Christian (1858–1930) in Biographisch Wardenbuch van Nederland. Biography of Christian Eichmann (1858–1930) at the National Library of the Netherlands. Christian Eichmann, Nobelmedicine.co.uk at archive. Is archived the 14th of January 2013. Works by Christian Eichmann at LibriVox public domain audiobooks. Works by or about Christian Eichmann at Internet Archive